Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Melatro. Erratic deck. We're not gonna we're not gonna continue this run of only ten of spades, although that is a really fun seed if you want it. There it is. Uh, we're gonna do a erratic deck, white stake difficulty, ranks and suits are randomized. So we have no idea what we're actually gonna have in our deck. Oh wait, I can look. So we have two, three, four, five, five, six, six, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, king, ace of spades. Very few hearts, a ton of clubs, and a normal amount of diamonds. It's very interesting. I'm actually gonna hold R a couple of times here just because I wanna see the randomness at play. It seems like, you know, in general, you're probably going to have uh, roughly equal amounts of everything in your deck. You're not gonna have a lot of one thing or another. Although in this deck, we do have 10 eights somehow which is fun. Okay, I'm gonna hold R one more time. This is gonna be the deck that we start, we that we play with. But uh, at the very least, having like 22 spades means we can just build into spades, very quickly get rid of the hearts, the clubs, and the diamonds, and then you'll have a three, four, 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 five, five, six, 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 eight, eight, nine, ten, ten, jack, jack, queen, king, king, ace of spades deck. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. And immediately I'm like, okay, well we have a four of a kind. Because we have six eights, <laughs> six sixes, six fours, two twos, two threes, and two fives in the deck, and two queens. It definitely leads to more interesting rounds. Means that maybe the greedy joker is not what we're looking for here. Is it necessarily better? I don't know. Definitely more interesting starts for sure. Okay, blueprint and the order. We're gonna take blueprint early, love it. Um, I'm just gonna next round so we can actually afford the voucher. I, You know, it's really a breath of fresh air to be playing on uh, white stake difficulty, to just have like a normal game of Bellatro without any like weird rules to it. It's, it's nice, it's relaxing, it's calm. I don't have to worry about scoring like three million at anti-8 on a purple steak. Or not purple steak, purple, um, purple, uh, I want this, but I also want this. Purple, 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 uh, violet leaf, is that what it's called? No. Oh. Spade cards are debuffed. Look, bad. Yes, but if we just play flush houses, we'll be fine, right? It would be very funny if we died here after getting an early blueprint. I hope not. Violet Vessel, yes, thank you. That piece of garbage, the Violet Vessel, always ruining my runs. Doot, 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 doot. Verdant Leaf, I, I forget the names of them and how they correspond, but the purple one, the purple one is the one that has the extra high blind, the wall, I believe is what it is. So we could immediately buy Hieroglyph. But I'm actually gonna buy a Joker, we'll buy that in a second, because we need something. I'll take Scholar, how many aces do we have in the deck, four? Look, if we play, I also like this, if we play, one ace. Well, okay, we've, we're gonna play multiple aces, but if we played one ace, we would probably be fine. Um, how many kings are in the deck? Five and four aces? I could either play a flush with the plus 20 plus four, or look for another king and or another ace. Okay, I mean, that's one king. You got me, game. 3,000 points on a blueprinted scholar. Now we did buy plus one hand each round, so I like the idea of buying the hieroglyph here, but why not wait one more round? Egg, huh? Plus two chips for each remaining card in your deck. Add a stone card to the deck when blind is selected. We'll buy a blue joker. 
We can't afford the vouchers, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll buy a blue joker and then maybe just win in a single hand. Okay, 9.92, pretty decent. Um, I guess we can go for a flush. Ah, uh, we didn't get a flush. 9.10, queen, king, ace. We can still go for a flush. There you go. All right. Is that an extra large blind or are you just happy to see me, says original name, not found yet? Neither! <laughs> Convert to clubs, no thank you. I'll buy Hyrule. We'll go back in time. Give me a next round. Base chips and molt are halved. Um, I'll just play the flush. Blueprint early is really nice. I hope we can find things that go along with it. Now, one thing that I don't necessarily love about this deck right now We don't need Fibonacci. We need to the moon. Incompatible, rip. One thing that I don't love about this deck is that it doesn't have any sort of like in-game scaling of any fashion, right? Like we just start with a already pre-manipulated deck. It's not like the cards are enhanced or anything but it's not like we're gonna get anything in the late game out of this. It's not like starting with more interest, more hands, more discards. Uh, it's not like starting with vouchers so that you have more vouchers in the late game if you actually live that long. You know, what are you really getting out of the erratic deck? You're just getting a little bit of randomness at, at the early part of the deck, which is not that bad, but it could be better, you know? I want an Arcana pack, but I also want the interest. All right. Look, it might not be an ace build, but we are playing a lot of aces. Disposable, thank you for the cheer. Didn't you know gambling is a sin? Dark mode, Kaka. Dark mode, Bible thump, dark mode. <laughs> Didn't know that was an emote. Dark mode. Queen's held in hand. Discard, now we'll just go for Voucher, and next round me. Cards played previously are debuffed. That means pretty much all of my aces are gone. And then we played a bunch of fours. So we're gonna have to find a different hand to play. Well, we could still play flushes. They're not that bad. We'll just dupe the blue joker. Theoretically means you spend less on deck manipulation, which means you can spend more on other things. Except the, like that's good in theory, but I think the problem with that analysis is that it ignores the fact that this is not, nothing that we have in this deck is what we wanna have in the late game. We wanna have enhanced cards, upgraded cards, polychrome cards, sealed cards, which requires us to at some point replace everything in the deck. So at best, it means that, you know, if you get something that buffs spades, you can go a little bit harder in the, into that early, but you still have to manipulate at some point, ideally, your entire deck. And I feel like that's really where I'm like, where the game loses me a little bit and where I'm like, okay, what are we really getting out of the erratic deck? We're just getting a little bit of early randomness, a little bit of variance, but that's about it. Four, 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 nine, nine, dupe you. I know what the dark mode emote is, I just didn't know it was there. <laughs> I know it's Kappa. <laughs> a lot of interest. Poker hand is a straight flush, create a random spectral card, hologram. We're gonna take the voucher to get another, well, we're gonna take the tag to get to get another voucher. I think we should definitely start taking our Kana packs now that we've maxed our interest. I'll just take an emperor. How does the erratic deck work? Erogenous Jones, welcome. So the erratic deck starts you with a random deck. 
There's no enhancements, no seals, but it's just random cards. So we started with two twos, two threes, six fours, two fives, 22 spades. And there's even a seed, you can Google it yourself, where if you enter the seed and you start with the erratic deck, you start with quite literally 52 10 of spades. You start with the same card across the screen. On your first on your first round of the first ante, you can play a flush five every round for the rest of the game, and I find that to be hilarious. Um, and that obviously is like an edge case, but what are you getting out of the erratic deck most of the time? More of one suit, easier flushes, easier three of a kinds and four of a kinds if you search for them, which is not bad. You know, it's a different play style, it's a different hand. Is it the best? Oh, I don't know. Plus 10 molt if you have a flush, plus 12 molt for three of a kind, spectral flush, hologram. Eh, I think we can hit 4,000. A little bit of variety, a little bit of spice in your life. We have a lot of sixes, not a lot of sevens, not a lot of 10, quite a lot of kings. Let's discard these. We have a lot of fours. Just give me a four. Four. Give me another four. No, give me a four. I should have duped Blue Joker. That's a, a pretty major mistake. Um, give me a ace. Six, 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 ace, ace. Now we do want to be on the Scholar for this one, I think. Boy, um. 40 chips and eight molt versus 12 molt versus 50 chips. I guess this is the best of both worlds, right? Lotter often becomes flush simulator. Flush me, baby. Who knows, maybe it will give Abe a reason to go into clubs. I don't know, I just don't like clubs. Lol. Something about the clubs. I think because clubs just don't have anything going for them, you know? Spades, you can get the thing that gives you 50 chips. Clubs, you can get seven molt, whatever. Hearts give you the times two multiplier if you get bloodstone. Diamonds gives you money. What do clubs give you? Nothing. Nothing! Stone card, clubs, and spades. Well, converting the spades helps us, so there you go. Why not use the death card on the ace to make another ace? I'll do it in round, or... Or I'll do it when we upgrade one of our aces, because we haven't upgraded any of our aces yet. So few fives, few sevens, a lot of nines. We'll keep the nine, we'll keep the six. Two jacks, all we need is an ace. Or three jacks. <laughs> sure, why not? Clubs are the worst type, even outside of Bellatro, says Pixely. You're the, the clubbist. I need this coffee to cool down. It's too hot in the in the thermos. Plus one discard each round. Evens give you plus four molts, plus ten molt on a two pair. By the temperance. Start there. Booster me. Hope that we can actually like upgrade a card and now we can with lucky cards. We can make a whole bunch of lucky aces with this. I will do that. Or what we could do is actually make more aces by upping the 10 or the kings. I think I'd rather magician, we can strength the king later. It gives me a reason to use death, add a card to the deck, make it an, a lucky ace. Okay, I accept it. Now, now, do you buy the idol? Do you maybe try to eventually get the deck just to be like, the Ace of Spades? It would be a fun run. Do we really care about Zany Joker? I mean, do we really, really care about the idol? Can we do enough deck manipulation to actually make the idol worth playing? Interesting questions. Um, I'm gonna say for right now, 
I'm gonna ignore it, but it is very tempting. I think it's just too early. I think it's too early to be like, hey, we're gonna make the entire deck just one thing. Because it's really hard to do that right now. There's gonna be so many, so much time where it's just gonna be literally useless and not gonna do anything. So I did make a mistake there. Can you identify what it was? The mistake was using death immediately. We should have discarded and looked for another ace and then taken whatever garbage was in our hand at that point, turning it into another ace. For now, I have to actually run a little bit of math. We're gonna dump everything but the six and the nine. We've been doing this frequently, haven't we? And the four, sure. Discard, well, discard five. I wanna try to draw more aces. We drew a six. Draw an ace. You son of a, well, do you play a pair? Do you play a two pair? You play a, a flush? I guess you can probably play a flush. No zany joker for us. 5,000. Hello, flush. My old friend. By the time you get to a point where the tiki is good, you've found tiki again. I mean, I'm hoping. That's the dream, of course. Three aces is actually enough to get us there. That's interesting. But I'm hoping by the time it shows up again, if it shows up again, we'll have a better manipulated deck. Because right now we really don't. Three of a kind. Uh, here's the thing. If I sell a card, we get money. There you go. That's that's my rule of thumb on that one. Like it, like it, like it. Scholar is actually pretty dang good common. It'll get you quite far. I, I would tend to disagree, and I do that very explicitly because I find that early it's hard to actually guarantee that you're drawing the aces. We currently have six aces. It's anti four. Now, have we taken literally every option to chance into more aces? No, I've been trying to keep things balanced, but it is really hard to get enough opportunities Yeah. To manipulate the deck even further. Because Scholar requires one specific card to be in your deck. All right, well. Um, not really worth duplicating too much here. I'm just gonna play the full house because it's a full house. Didn't actually give us that much score, did it? Now we have another full house. I'm actually gonna look for more aces. That's better. This should be fine. Dun, 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 Yeah, and it gets us there automatically. So we, we need to be playing aces. The problem is actually getting more aces into the deck. Uh, death helps. Pluto is late game fuel. Full house is acceptable. Three of a kind's acceptable. I'm I'm gonna be buying a lot here. Maybe not the voucher quite yet. And if it's not an ace, I don't want it. Bonus cards: Temperance, Wheel of Fortune, Lovers, Sun. Just give me the money. Because then I can actually just buy this immediately. Don't need to worry about interest. We've got to the moon. To the moon! So now that we have, well, okay. I could play a full house, but now that we have seven aces, I am thinking.
Let's draw the aces. Okay, 23,000 for four aces. That's pretty good. Crafty Joker can probably go next. Driver's license soon. Wrathful Joker with chips, you know what? That's actually quite soon. Here I think you just go for the, the seal. At the very least, I feel like as long as we stay on this path of manipulation, we'll probably have a good enough run that will take us to the next stake difficulty. But I don't I don't need to go to the next stake difficulty. What I need is Just play the full house. What I need is to like score a new world record run. <laughs> That's what I want on a white stake difficulty erratic deck. Trio, also good. Um, we're gonna be buying that over Wrathful Joker, even though it's foil. The Molt Molt with driver's license, with Scholar, with Trio. That's gonna be huge. Magician, Lucky Cards, Hierophant, Chariot, World, Lovers. Chariot's good. I'm gonna Magician up some cards. The hope is that we can actually bump these into aces. Devil, Hierophant, Death. I mean, we're just gonna keep deathing aces. This will be like the first time I've ever really gone into aces like this. Normally I'm not this big into the aces. Goodbye. Hopefully it's good enough. Two of them are debuffed, but I think you still do it. Or actually, you probably dupe Trio. See how it goes. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was the right, the right course of action. <laughs> three of a kind. I think three of a kind's a little slow. We're looking for better hands now. Whew! I'm so glad we re-rolled that. Holy crap. Brainstorm and blueprint, huh? Goodbye to the moon. Hello, brainstorm. Uh, now we gotta think. You probably want it like this. You probably double up on Scholar and then double up on Trio. Although Scholar happens when things are scored. So technically you could do this and get Trio Trios. That would work. With just a, a quick little driver's license at the end to eventually be something that we uh, we can build into. And then anything that's not spades gets purged. I like the kings, but I think you just purge. Well, actually, would this win it for us? Five times three is 25, times three is 75, times three is uh, 225. So we'd have 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 times 225, which probably gets us there immediately. And we also get to play uh, two lucky cards. My math did not check out there. Five times three is not 25, brain. <laughs> Why did I think it was a times five? I don't know, I'm dumb. Uh, let's play these. We have a three times three times three. It's times 81, right? Three times three is nine times three is 27. Yeah, that's the math. One of these days I'll get there, don't worry. I've leveled up Full House a lot. I don't want to play Full House. I want to play Five of a Kind. So Magician, Hermit, Chariot. Again, we can like Magician the Kings, but we already have Kings that we need to buff. So I'm just gonna take the money and run.
by Troubadour. Earn four dollars plus fifty chips. We're actually pretty close to getting driver's license. I don't think we need to worry right now. Plus one hand size. Straight two pair high card. I'll always buy a high card. But why why do we have so many planet cards showing up? Planet cards appear two times more often, more like ten times more often. Everything's a planet. Hey, three of spades. My three is here. Upgrade my five of a kind. So what, what is this gonna be? Let, let's run some math, okay? Four molt, four molt. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, times four, which is 28, plus 12, 40, times three, 120, times three, 360, times three, 1080, 1080 molt. Is that right? That can't be right. 1080 molt? My math is probably wrong. 40, 1080 molt. My God, I was right. <laughs> Mathing in Bellatro, just excel it like the rest of us. I should, I should have like a spreadsheet already uh, you know what, actually, if I alt-tab in my browser window, I have an, uh, an image already loaded, which is predetermined chip times molt values for your hands, levels one through 15. Just a, a spreadsheet already created. I didn't make it, I just Googled it. But if, did you wanna know what your base molt, or your base score is for a flush five at level 15? 41,760, there you go. Although that's the old version, that's the old version. Maybe the uh, the numbers have changed because we are on the beta branch. Fair, fair. Create a tarot card when the blind is selected. This is two tarot cards. This is three tarot cards. So goodbye driver's license. Hello, cartomancer. And they're compatible. So we're gonna get three tarot cards every round, which is awesome. See the upcoming blind? Clubs are debuffed? Excellent. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. Um, we don't care about the holographic mult effect of this because we actually want Brainstorm to be buffing the trio. But now we have more manipulation immediately. Chariot A, King, we can do that in a second. Stone card, we can do that in a second. Let's start with the discards. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. We have eight diamonds. Not that one. Money manipulation is sorted. Well, for now, yes. Three free tarot cards because we have consumable slots for them means we can actually get a lot done. I will definitely take Petroglyph. I will definitely take Burnt Joker. Why? Because we can level up high card. What does that matter? Well, because if we get any high card build happening, it's absurd. We could also go for tarot cards out of Vegabond. I gotta think, like this is a very interesting situation we find ourselves in right now. This could give us like 12 tarot cards every round. If it's compatible, is it compatible with the uh, Brainstorm and Blueprint? I assume it is. I think it works. I did a little Google search. So if we get rid of all of our money and we take Burnt Joker Vagabond, we can level up high card constantly and we can get tarot cards constantly and we'll lose out on the scholar, but 
honestly, we don't need Scholar. We have Brainstorm Blueprint Trio. This is going to give us enough malts. I like it. I like it. We're, we're going to have to spend all of our money. But if we have $4 and we get 10 tarot cards every round, we can get some, like, pretty cool stuff happening here. But I do have to I do have to spend all of my cash. And we can even get the idol later. We can even get the idol now, but we die. So let's not. Okay, so <laughs> a $5, a $6, and a $7 would leave us that would cost $18. It would leave us with 7. If I buy the Pluto, we'll have Four dollars, is that correct? Five dollar reroll, six dollar reroll, seven dollar reroll costs 18, 19, 20, 21. We'd have four dollars remaining. We can even buy one thing if it shows up, like Planet X. So, reroll, I could just buy these, but we want to reroll, reroll, or reroll by buy, and we can. Emperor, Hermit, S sell, one, use, 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 and we'll use the Magician. If these, if, if our lucky cards ever give us money, it ruins what we have, but this is totally fine. Next round. So the first card that we discard buffs high card three times. Then we will play, we're just gonna play whatever garbage we can basically, but I guess we'll use Magician first. So we'll play this. All right, uh, we'll convert everything into spades. We'll get ourselves more planet cards and we'll use, and we'll use, and we can actually sell you and still get value out of you. And then we can play uh, one more high card. We could discard, but we can also just play a high card. I can't sell this, otherwise we'll lose out on our ability to create more cards, but World card. I don't know. Lucky card. Play a play a flush. It's our last one. We got so much money. Why do we got so much money? Well, you know what? We're going to win and we're going to get one tarot card. Why not? Well, why spend these then? Why not wait? Good point, right? Because you're going to get interest. Well, we'll get a tarot card, which might be worth more than interest. Right? Right? I don't know. Look, I'm just going to play my cards. We got a high priestess, a temperance, and a hermit. Use? <laughs> Use? And we're back up to $49. Yeah, okay. This is a very good combination. I like it. Um... <laughs> I can't hold it, but I do see the value of DNA to dupe your aces, but I guess we would like to manipulate through removal, I think. We don't want to manipulate right now through a constant addition, I think. I guess I'm going aces just because we have aces now. We don't have to go aces anymore, but, you know, why not, right? So I'll, I will remove... I will Emperor. We got the Devil, we got Tower. And then we got a reroll. 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 Invisible Joker. 
We have to. We have to. Because we can get another blueprint or brainstorm? <laughs> well, we have to, right? So I will sell a tower. I guess we should have sold something else. We could sell a uh, burnt joker. Buy the invisible joker. I'm just gonna buy and use this just to get rid of money. So we're not gonna upgrade high card anymore, but in two rounds, we're gonna get another copy of something. What a what a strange run we have here in this Bellagio. <laughs> well, I don't have to worry about discarding high card anymore, so. I will play. Chung, chung, chung. You know, if I do this, we get a flush five. And then, why don't we just dupe an ace? Yes, we can discard now. Well, rather you just play, right? Death, strength, wheel of fortune. The manipulation is getting rather quick, isn't it? Now, before I forget, make sure you do this. You get a Wheel of Fortune. It foiled the blueprint, that's fine. We get a world card, pull the temperance. I have seven aces in hand. That's pretty good. Now we don't really have that much money right now, except we do. I might wanna just spam that temperance again. Vampire, mm, I'm gonna say no thank you. Blackboard could work, but is it really what we want? That's pretty good. Now here's a question, do we want to like nuke our jokers to try to dupe one? Probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna say probably not. You know what, I don't mind destroying five cards. We're down to a 45 card deck, that seems pretty good. All right, five, six, seven is again $18. We have enough money for one more reroll after that, or we can buy stuff. Plus five. I could fool it. It's actually not a bad idea. Bonus cards, two pair, pair. Well, I gotta do something. So I will buy. I will buy and use. We're down to zero dollars. Load up our Vega Bond and the mouth. Play only one hand type. So we probably won't be getting value out of Vega Bond because we can't really afford to play one hand type, I think. As unfortunate as that is. So we're just going to look for our aces, I think. Actually, Chariot on this is a fantastic card. Steel foil blue seal. And then we'll just uh, dump everything. Oh, we can't discard anymore, huh? All right, that's, that's fine. We should still be fine. Not as high of a score as I would have liked, but, you know, we were not able to discard as much as we wanted. We did buy both the uh, send you back in time vouchers that completely ruins your run in weird fashions. And I see that we've got 
Invisible Joker ready to pop. The real question is, do I want to use it right now? I think we do. Okay, I think I think we sell Vagabond, use the soul, and then we determine if we want to dupe whatever that is, or maybe try to dupe Brainstorm. Maybe we don't want the trio. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but I think you sell this. I think you buy this. Played kings and queens each give times two molt one scored. I'm on aces. Damn it. We did get another Brainstorm at least. But now we got to transition into a king deck somehow. <laughs> this run is all over the place. What the hell? Next round. Save our money now, I guess. Well, you know, I guess we do want to maybe start duping these kings, right? Well, you probably want to make it one of those, right? And then you do one of these, and you luck some cards, and you can you can still play a full house. This is a times eight multiplier. It's a 45 million point hand. So clearly we don't need, it's a negative tarot card creator that we can dupe. It's so perfect. <laughs> it's so good. Look at it. We have infinite deck manipulation, even though we just sold the thing that gave us infinite deck manipulation. Holy cow. What is this run? Good God, it's so fun. <laughs> this is why I don't, I like playing on, you know, normal difficulty and not 18 stake difficulties. Polychrome three. Okay, so now we need to buff this three into a king and then we can play it to get even more polychrome tribulae benefits. What is this godforsaken run? I love it. Never end. Hanged man. Yeah, I'll dump anything that's not a king. The aces, the aces are just here just for the hell of it right now. They're not doing anything. I mean, I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to play a flush house. Triple A is still better to duplicate than the trio because with, with, one king, this is a times two. With two kings, this is a times four, which is better than the trio's times three. And then with three kings, this is a times eight, which is better than the times three. With four kings, this is a times 16. With five kings, this is a times 32, which is definitely more than three. So we're gonna triple, quadruple down on Triboulet here on a flush house. There's a joker that re-triggers kings, right? We want a uh, sock and buskin. So, hallucination gets doubled, tripled, quadrupled. Magician, lovers, high priestess. Lovers we can sell. Convert to spades, sure. Let me first um, just use Magician. I've got a lot of lucky cards in the deck too. And we'll convert you two to spades. 
Imagine getting this with the idle now. Like, if we could get an idle, this would go out of control. Create a stone card. Why not? So we want a death. I think we'll definitely death some more kings. Although we could death the three, but... No, 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 no. Yeah, make another king. It's not the polychrome, but we haven't gotten the opportunity to strength that one up yet. Okay, save money for interest. Go back to Trib. You know what I want? I want to get more jokers in hand. Sorry, I, that's not what I meant to say. But yes, I want to get more booster packs. Because the expected payout out of Hallucination is that we pick up... Um, two tarot cards per booster pack. Because we've never leveled up Flush House, we're gonna play a Flush House. Triple A is now a times eight per play, which definitely beats Trio. And then we'll just move our hallucination back so we don't forget. Come on, game. Yes. You can do it, game. You can give me more. Okay. Flush house, full house, flush, straight flush, three of a kind. Eventually, we're gonna wanna play five of a kind, flush five, which we have been leveling up. I don't think we want high card. This is not a high card run. This is a tribulé run. I'll still do it, but I don't think we want to level up high card. Flush five is what we want to level up. I will use Emperor. Seltzer will re-trigger Tribule. Which is hilarious to think about. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, it's a lot of money. Okay, sure. We're up to $100 all of a sudden. How did that happen? Driver's license, you came back to me. One more. All right, next round. Negative joker, you say? Wasn't that a negative? Wasn't what a negative? Wasn't what a negative? No, I, if there was a negative, I did totally didn't see it, but I don't think there was a negative. Tribule. Now here's the question, do we want Tribule or Seltzer to reactivate? Here's, here's the thing, I think when you have things that trigger on reactivation and reactivations, what you actually want to do is you want to trigger them equal numbers of times if you can. So I think what we want is Actually, I think what we want is this. Three triggers of Tribule, two triggers of Seltzer, which means that cards will trigger three times. So we get three times three or nine total triggers. I think, I think, I think? Dude, I'm, I'm dumping and looking for kings. I want the highest scoring hand of all damn time. Flush house. I think this is what we want. Black rock joker thing. If there was a negative in the shop, I just didn't see it. My bad. We've already hit E. Good lord. Well, that's a negative joker. I can see that one. Not a good one, but I'll take it. 
Well, that was, uh, that was a high scoring hand. Come on, come on, come on. Death card, nice. Uh, I will take a card that gives me more tarot cards. It's also a jack. We can up it to a king pretty, pretty easily. We want strength. Rocket ship, not good enough. Dusk could be very interesting with what we're doing. It's basically a permanent seltzer if you dump your hands early. Be careful with where you put that negative joker. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't... I didn't re... I didn't do hallucination opening the packs either, like a dummy. Ah, oh, that's a mistake. There's a lot happening on this run right now. Okay, next round. Very large blind, oh no. So, yeah, you go pretty much at the end, because you're, you're garbage. You can go at the end as well. This is what we want. We can strength the three, slowly make it into a king. Imagine a polychrome king with this setup, though. Like, that would go insane. We're gonna dump. We're just looking for kings. And we got them. I guess we should make another one. Maybe we should have duped this three. Um, cover your ears, by the way, because this is going to get loud. While this is triggering, I have to do a little bit of work here because I need to get uh, hallucination into position. I just hate how much it blows out the audio, <laughs> it's, it's maximum volume. Reroll the boss blind. Casual E12, pretty much. Hanged man. Chariot. We do want to chariot cards, but it's not a huge deal because we're not building cards in hand, we're build, building cards played, giving us our score. I'm actually just gonna skip those. World card, justice card. Pretty bad rolls. But I'll take a five of a kind and flush five. I wish flush, flush 5 upgraded. The. Um, uh, I wish flush 5 upgraded the. Molt by 4. But that's fine. Uh, and then we want you here. Uh, you. You, ear, you, ear. Nope, this is wrong. We want it like this. Nope, this is wrong. God damn it. <laughs> we want it like this. Three triggers of this, two triggers of this, which means cards trigger three times, tribulate triggers three times. Even numbers if possible. Wrong one. That's okay. Uh, I guess we're just playing a three of a kind on this hand. Oh no! We could play some like high cards, I guess, but I don't care. I guess I do care. Like dump these. Well, it's gonna ruin Seltzer, but whatever. Mason, welcome, how are you doing today? I guess have your blueprint copy your brainstorm, which is copying your blueprint. Big brain plays, I know. I can't, I can't discard this. I wish I could.
At least we're getting money out of those lucky cards, too. Mason says, I'm good, just got back from work. It's a Friday, put up your feet, watch a little Bellatro. I've got a good run here with Double Brainstorm Blueprint Tribule. Looks good so far. Uh, we're duping Hallucination, so open a pack. Dump. Yes, this is what I want. I want to keep bumping up the four and make it a king. In fact, I want to do this so much, what I'm going to do is use the fool. So let's start like this. Then strength. Then fool. Because you don't always get polychrome cards. It's the best polychrome card we've seen. So I want to bump it up and make it a king so we get copies of it and then we can get copies of the multipli multiplication with Tribule and it'll just go to 10. Mother of Zerg, welcome. That was a good nap. You had a nap? I hope it was. I hope you're rested and relaxed and ready for some Bellantra. <laughs> Oh, because I'm hoping this run goes to the moon. God damn it, I am. So we can strengthen then fool again, which is amazing. Moon! Alright, well. Play a full house. Not even a flush house. Make sure, hold on, crap, oh, God. You move out of the way, you go to the left. Nope, you go to the right with, nope, hold on. This triggers once, you trigger twice. Yes? God, if... <laughs> this is the first time I've ever wanted save and load positions for jokers. I'm thinking like FTL. I want a button that's go back to your original positions. Good God, quiet down. Game. F, good Lord. God damn. <laughs> this why not probably don't need to spend the money flush five five of a kind flush five we don't need to open packs i don't need to re-roll either right now so i'm just gonna do a couple cheap ones and then move on we are looking for other jokers if we can get them strength this is a great time to be me Okay, we've buffed it four times. We still need more to go. Yes! Tower! Well, you know, we can at least get rid of you. Okay. We want this to trigger twice, this to trigger once. We got a flush five with five lucky kings. And the lucky effect will trigger three times per card. So we're going to get 15 lucky triggers. We could get more by using Brainstorm at the same time. Why wouldn't we? Like, thinking about it, if we know we're going to win, why not get even more re-triggers to try to get more money out of these cards, right? I can't think of a reason not to do this. as long as everything is compatible. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna get 25 lucky triggers. We still scored well, and we got one cash payout. That's not a very good return on the investment, but I'll take it. Dude, this sucks, where's my Arcana packs? 
Makes it easier to just move hallucination in and out now. I will, I will say that. Holographic, holographic, lucky, foil, queen of clubs. A blue seal gold card is, is not bad, but... No, thank you. Five of a kind. Eh, it's cheap. Ride the bus! Gains a bolt per consecutive hand played without a scoring face card. Well, I have it now. It's not good, but I've got it now. Old card. Sun card. You are already steel. Put Seltzer in, and then we're gonna discard, looking for all the kings in the world! Draw a king or an ace. You know what? I'll take a two pair. I really want to get one more king or an ace, though. So give me a... This is going to be weird, but give me a high card. Oh, I wish I could discard this. Now give me Seltzer. We only get three more Seltzers, and then we gotta really think about what we're doing with our life, because our score is gonna really tank unless we get a Sock and Buskin. But, give me a full house with the full Seltzer retrigger. I'm gonna put, take my headphones off and take a sip of this coffee. It's still way too hot in the thermos. Okay, it's safe to put your headphones back on. <laughs> Although that wasn't that high of a score, it was only 45 million. Come on. Okay, don't forget about hallucination either. That's super, super important. Okay, buffoon pack me. Joker stencil. Dusk could replace Seltzer, but... Lucky Cat? I can't slot it in anywhere, unless I want to get rid of Seltzer. Do we want to get rid of Seltzer for the retriggers to take a cat, which... Nah, 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 nah. It's not what we're looking for. Right now I'm just looking for some dang tarot cards so I can open up the pack and then maybe get a couple more cards out of it and then we can actually do something. None? None. None? All right. I see how it is, game. I'll take the money. That's why, by the way, you buy negatives, negatives if they show up, just for the potential for money in the future. Five of a kind. We're playing flush fives. This next round, you don't spend all your money. Thankfully we drew this early for once. Glad I made the decision to pivot because we didn't draw any of our kings. But we don't have any multiplier on our score because of that. So we're gonna play a garbage hand. Seltzer is gonna break on this, which sucks. So maybe we actually don't play a garbage hand. Maybe we just play like a two pair. And now we've got a refactor.
because Seltzer is going bye-bye. Playing a lot of Uranuses. And now we do need a new Joker, but we've got a lot of money. We've got a lot of money. We can look. We can look. Right. That <laughs> This time I made the mistake, though. Five of a kind, straight pair, high card, flush. I guess you'll upgrade high card. We're not playing five of a kind, we're playing flush fives. All right, and so this is our highest scoring hand right now, but we need another joker. We have a slot. We can just shove one in. Goodbye, Seltzer. Goodbye, Seltzer, my old friend. You stuck with me until the end. So hanging Chad is actually pretty decent for this because it's kind of like Seltzer, just instead of hitting all cards, it only hits one, but it's good enough. It really is good enough. We have full strength, so we can keep pumping up that uh, polychrome. And give me a emperor and I'll save my money. Minus one hand size sucks. What are you gonna do? As for re-trigger capability, hey X, welcome. I missed a good run. Well, you haven't missed it. We're still in it. Played kings and queens each give times two molt when scored. Hank, so one, it really depends on how many kings you have in your hand, really. So let's see how many we can get. All right. I will dump four. Okay, I drew more aces. So if we play a flush house, well, I mean, this is good for just like math purposes, right? Let's figure it out. Each king is a times eight. Sorry, all of the kings combined are times eight. So every time you re-trigger Tribule, you're re-triggering a times eight. If you hanging Chad and get two additional triggers, you get a times four out of it. But by re-triggering the first card, you will get additional plays out of Tribule. I think you probably just want to only buff this card though. Tribule. I think this is what you want. Let's go for it. I, I mean, I think we'll be totally fine. Flush house. We're gonna easily win. I just wish there was an easier way to run the map. <laughs> I, mean, I would say we easily won that one, 34 billion only. Not even an E-score. This is like, Hanging Chad is uh, a slightly worse ballot, but it's still okay. Magic trick we skip. For $3, I will look. A po polychrome stone is very interesting because if you make it not stone, it could be any rank. It's a very funny card. Why not? Why not buy one? Juggler plus one hand size. Polychrome. I think we skip it. I'm not going to spend too much on rerolls. Probably just going to go there. And we need to discard, because we are looking for our friend that we can strength. Didn't get it, but we do have a jack. I think unfortunately I'm just gonna throw that card away. Because I like these, and I really want to find it so I can fool it, strength it. We're at E13 with Tribule. So we're good for a while. Come on, give me 
Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So buff. Might as well work on this too. Strength. Fool. Strength. Emperor. It's not worth deathing. Although it would make it maybe easier to strengthen. We'll probably just death another king into existence. Should probably do that to the aces, but that's... There's, there's still 12 of them. <laughs> More than the kings. We're fine for a minute. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Ah, I should have bought this first because it won't have two of them spawn in the same moment. Hands are looking pretty nicely upgraded. Flush five. I can't believe we've only played that four times. It's my highest upgraded hand, even over high card. I'm going to stop there. Why? I got to do hallucination, you dummy. Ah, oh, my brain never remembers. I'm going to take another Eris. And reroll one more time. Ah, uh, okay. Still 80 bucks. At least you're in the right position now. Oh, all right. I mean, it makes it easy to figure out what to play, right? You know what we need? Oh, hold on, I'll wait for the fire so you can hear me. We need a spectral pack and deja vu. Hallucination. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hope to see NT39 when it comes back to his original name. I doubt it, because we didn't get Perkeo, which is apparently what you need for that level. Invisible Joker. After two rounds, sell to duplicate a random Joker. Okay, um. Goodbye, Hanging Chad. Hello, Invisible Joker. Again. Dude, dude! Oh, I can't even buy one, okay. Diamonds or debuffs? I don't have diamonds. Diamonds in the sky. Hanged man. Yeah, I'll do it. Forget. And then don't forget. Not getting as many uh, lucky triggers as I would like. This is such a weird run because it's so good. <laughs> Spectral cards may appear in Arcana packs. Here's where we get deja vu, hopefully. We got Cryptid which we'll use, absolutely. But not what I was hoping for. Looking for death. Looking for Rip Bloodstone. Looking for Eris. We don't need this. I'll buy the chariot and we'll just pop it on this round. And I'm looking for our good friend. 
This doesn't score that well, but it's flush five with five lucky cards. I'm gonna play it. I want the polychrome, man. The polychrome king, if I can make it a king, would go so well. Again, I'm just gonna play cards. I wanna actually get to that card since we have death in hand, or sorry, strength in hand. I will take my time to make it happen. There it is. It's a gold seal, which is not perfect, but we can hopefully trade that seal now that we have spectral cards appearing in tarot packs. Hmm. 300 million. We're approaching very quickly targets of E11. So we are close to uh, running out of time. Thank God that appears so often. Invisible Joker. Sell. 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 It duped hallucination! How dare you! I, I I was thinking about selling it. I didn't want to. I should have. No, it's actually fine for now. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm upset with myself, really. You know what? Oh, all right. hello. Hello, uh, Hanging Chad. Welcome back. That's fine. Ooh. The idol. Okay. We're, <laughs> We're so close. We're so close. We're gonna have either aces or kings very shortly. And we're co we're constantly pushing more manipulation. So right now it's Jack of Spades, which is meaningless, but we'll get there. Make sure you get this set up. Now I could fool to get another flush five. I will. I would also accept. These are equivalent, I'm realizing. Idle and triple A. Um, I would accept, what the hell? Fooling strength, but I figured since it's a permanent benefit to just make our hand higher, let's do it. Take it. Definitely take it. Again. I mean, you've paid for a few rerolls. We didn't get what we wanted, but that's okay. 10. You're not quite there yet. However, death. We just got a free death card out of that. Destroy random card. Add enhanced face cards. We're going to death fool again. Yep. Death fool. And we're just... Slowly purging everything until we get only King of Spades, and then Idol will only trigger King of Spades. Must play five cards. Not a big problem. Dump, 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 dump. I wouldn't mind playing five aces. I'll play four aces. I'll play... Four aces. We have so many kings. Play the four of a kind. I'm hoping for money. 
It also is a discard. This eight, we need to get rid of at some point so that it doesn't tr uh, cause idle to trigger, but we'll deal with it later. Now this, I'm realizing the idle is not that good when you have triple A because they're equivalent and the idle doesn't cause things to re-trigger an additional time, which is what you would want to get m the maximum value out of triple A. I think actually, funnily enough, something like the ballot would be better for more score because it would cause one card to re-trigger multiple times. Seltzer, okay. So yeah, I think, I think we dump the idol. If you didn't have this, the idol would be what you want, but because we have it, Seltzer's better. That's weird. But I think it I think the math checks out. Wool gives us a Pluto. Create a random rare joker, set your money to zero. Destroy two cards. That seems good enough. We could also king. Sorry, we could also death. We let's save this. Let's destroy two cards. And I think I'm just gonna. Fool that back immediately. Negative Joker coming up, I love it. And then we'll um just hang man again. Well, hold up. Yeah, this is fine. Hangman these. Ember. Wheel. Judgment. Hang. We should probably be careful playing cards for discards, because we are going to ruin Seltzer a little bit, aren't we? That's okay. Um, now we'll trigger Seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the uh, money. One. E12, not bad. I've definitely made some mistakes on this run. There is a slightly better run in this run somewhere if you played better. Because I made a couple mistakes. Like, duping Hallucination was a, a huge mistake in hindsight. Strength. It hit! We got it. And then I can just death it later. There's Hanging Chad. We have the room, so Seltzer Hanging Chad is acceptable. Yep. I will take a negative Joker. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to. You want to know why? We don't need a negative random, one negative random Joker. That doesn't do enough for us. We need more than that. There's a garbage card. You know, we need either 15 negative random jokers or we need one specific negative random joker. What's the chance that that's gonna appear? If we get a good joker, I'll just dump Hanging Chad. I'll dump Seltzer. You know, I'll dump one of those. Bloodstone. Yeah, you know, that wouldn't have done it for us, so. What if the negative random joker is something good? That's the thing, it's never something good. Fool <laughs> is death. Definitely start there. Got 
tons of cash. I'll take a hanged man. I'll take a strength. I wish we could fool the strength, but we're actually super close to making this. It, as a queen, it's playable. We don't need it yet. We don't need it yet. Discard it. Our deck is a lot of kings. You know what? Hangman the ace. Get it out. Get it out of here! I don't need you anymore! I don't need you anymore. I keep passing by world cards. What? All right, well we got to we got to play better. <laughs> um I'm going to play this. We only hit 1 billion? What happened? I guess because I duped Seltzer instead of What happened? Did I did I leave hallucination there? I don't I feel like I did something. King, 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 king. Flush five. We're gonna dupe Triple A twice and Seltzer once. This is the highest value play we have. So hanging Chad is just being a Chad. Play hand. I, yeah, I must have not duped Seltzer correctly. Compatible, Triple A, compatible, Seltzer. I must have, I must have messed up. with seltzer for four hands plus one hand size super nice don't forget about this either I hate when it gives you no tarot cards on four hallucination triggers it's like come on what am I paying you for game Okay, there's strength. We need a world card. Hanged Man is also acceptable. Showman. Fool is also good. We've got a few cards to remove. I can't believe we haven't seen a red seal yet on this run. You two can go. You two can go. That's that's a good use of our time. Seltzer, Tribulet, in the middle. Blueprint, Seltzer, Tribulet, Brainstorm, Brainstorm. We need a world card. We need a red seal too, but again, it's been so hard to find those. We, we've not seen a single one. There might have been one in a pack that I skipped, but I didn't want to have to manipulate multiple cards. And we had polychrome. Polychrome's harder to come by, I think. God, it's so loud. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> We got three more seltzers. Hold that for a second. Blueprint on seltzer. 
True Belay on Brainstorm. I've got a lot of money, but that is because I... Goodbye, Flush Five. That is because I... I wanted to spend money shuffling through cards that I don't need to shuffle through. So Strength. Queen is now a king. Emperor. Give me a world card? No world card. It's fine. It's fine. I should have fooled. <laughs> Empress. Rip. Alright, well. Clonk, 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 clonk. Flush five. I could play this for a five of a kind, but the flush five is still better. Actually, this is probably better because it'll replay Hanging Chad Seltzer on the Polychrome. Polychrome changes the map because I think you would rather re-trigger Polychrome than Tribulé on the Polychrome because Tribulé is triggering anyways. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Hit play, you'll win. making sure everything's in the right place. <laughs> but we get to see the, the score on just replacing one thing, right? And eh, E20, about where we were. Wait until you get a Nan imp, it'll blow out your speakers. If I get that, I can uh, say that I've won Bellatro and that I don't have to play this game anymore. Two seltzers. It's another purple. Don't need it. Because we're generating generating enough tarot cards, I would say. Eggman's fine. Turtle Bean's very interesting. Again. <laughs> okay, uh. This time I'm not gonna make the same mistake. We're getting E20. Current hands E16. Frick, man. Uh, okay, we can we can dump Chad. Buy the Invisible Joker. We will sell Hallucination before we do this next time, and not make the same mistake again. Sock and Buskin. Retrigger all played face cards. We're gonna sell Seltzer because <laughs> this is a better Seltzer. Holy crap, this run. Good God. Game, just I, I just want a world card, please. You know, it's upgrade five of a kind until we get world cards. I'm re-rolling, I want a world card. Chad. I'm re-rolling. I'm gonna stop re-rolling here. Where the hell's my world card game? World card. Hangman. Dump. Gonna... I'm gonna make a few of these. We can convert them and then remove them later. We get enough cards. We got we got hallucination, right? Yeah, world hits three cards. We only really need a couple of these. We can start duplicating them later. They're not red seals though. So it's fine, but we're going to, so tr we should treat this as seltzer, which means we need it to trigger once, triple A to trigger twice. It's a five of a kind, 
but we have extra molt on these to make up for the fact that it's a five of a kind and not a flush house. We could still play that though with flush five. They're lucky cards, they'll give us money, but these are moneyed up already. They're gold sealed. Retrigger played face cards. So one, two, three triggers and three king action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although again, the math changes when you actually have polychrome on these, but this is fine for now. Convert the rest to clubs. That, that's the other thing, is that we could just convert everything to these. Again, that's because we didn't play Eris, we played Planet X. One more round. So we're we're gonna sell Hallucination when we do this this time. A polychrome hanging chat. It's not good enough. Polychrome shoot the moon. Definitely not good enough. Did, did I really? Hey, brainstorm triple A! Get out of there, you son of a gun! Now that's pretty good. I, I like that. Thank you. Wrong run. I like that we have a mime, but unfortunately, it's uh, the wrong archetype. You showed up twice? I hate you. E16. So we're, we're, we're no, we know we're fine here. Brainstorm. Get out of here. Brainstorm. This. Blueprint. This. and we'll sell Invisible Joker after we open the packs. And we'll sell Hallucination. So what's the ideal for us, by the way? Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we dupe, because if we dupe a Blueprint, we're only Blueprinting one of these once. If we dupe a brain Brainstorm, we're only duping one of these once. And if we dupe, dupe Triple A or Sock and Buskin, it's as though we dupe Blueprint or Brainstorm once. It literally doesn't matter what we do, as long as we sell Hallucination. Now let's do it correctly this time! The game is giving me garbage. Level 31. I suppose we should do it now. Sell, sell. Dupe triple A, that's totally fine. I can't believe we haven't found a damn world card in so long. Flush five. Sure, let's upgrade the hand. Next round. E17. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, now, does this change the math at all? I think... Like... So we have one, two... We have five triggers of Tribule, two of Sock and Buskin. So, cards will trigger three times total, and we'll get four Tribulae activations. 
If, we, if we're playing polychrome, we probably want it to be the other way, but I don't know if we can actually do that. No, we can't. Just, it, we just got to do it like this. So now it's equal. Four triggers by three triggers. That seems fine. That seems fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Five of a, we only have two of them? We only have two of them, I'll just play five. Blueprint, blueprint. So, cards will trigger four times, and we'll get eight X molt per king. Per trigger. So if a card triggers four times, getting 8x molt, each card is giving us... Eight times, 64 times two molts. 64 times two, which is... Oh my god, 256 times 15, which is 4,000. Each king gives us 4,000 molt, <laughs> I think. Running a simple back of the napkin calculation there. Get out of here, Diet Cola. Diet these nuts. It's seltzer. I can't, literally can't fit you in anywhere. I'm sorry. At this point, I'm not looking for, I, I guess we're just making them all kids. Fool, death, yeah, okay. I guess what we're doing is we're actually just making five of these in hand. We're not going spades, we're going clubs. All right. Fool and death has been easier to come across than... We don't have seed money. Than uh, world card. World card. It's seltzer again. Of a kind flush, straight flush. Well, isn't this something? Playing a flush five sets money to zero. It picks your most played hand. I understand. I never figured that out until just now. Well, I mean, we won't play a flush five in that case. We'll play... Five of a kind with four of these polychrome sealed kings. They give us so much money, too. All right, cover your ears. Clank, clank. Clink. I like the sound of the change coming in my pocketbook. 26! Good God. And that's not even my strongest hand game. I don't know if I want this, but it makes the voucher not appear anymore, so I'll take it. You're gonna give me a five, five of a kind? Five of a kind is not worth upgrading. Imagine with plasma. Yeah, plasma, instead of a E20, it would be E40. Had a blue seal and enhanced aces. We'll just, we'll just do this. Flush house. You know, we're, we're going to be playing flush fives, ideally. Star. Cool can trigger that if we want it. We'll get one more. Flush five level 30 something? Good lord. Okay, okay. 
Fool me a flush five. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice, and we'll get fooled again. So I do want to discard. I am looking for seals. I'm looking for... More of these kings. More of the polychromes. Five of a kind, level 18. You know what I would like to see? Or vouchers. We need the anaglyph deck for that though. Anaglyph, a lot of double tags. Death Fool Death. A classic combination. One we get all the time, apparently. Nope. High Priest's Chariot Tower. I guess we're gonna Death Fool Death. And I guess we're going uh, clubs. <laughs> you know, I don't need to use the death card here. We can wait. We can get a uh, a worse card being death that's not a king. Too many planet cards, man. I know I did this to myself, but too many planet cards. All cards debuffed until one joker sold. No! I can reroll the boss blind. Okay, that's way better. I I paid attention. He's done it. That's right. Are you kidding me? Who do you think you are? I am. What do we have in this deck to We have the 8 I guess we can just Get rid we have everything. We've done it. We've converted enough. Flush five with the the kings of yore. We'll even get one thanks to Blue Seal. I kind of want to keep this one in hand in that case, because we know we're going to win, right? We got E24 on the last one. But then we actually don't get it for a flush five, we get it for a five of a kind. Okay, yeah, just play the flush five. You get one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. What does that legendary joker do? So every king gets two X on the multiplier. And thanks to Sock and Buskin, every king triggers four times. So every every king gives two times two times two times two to the multiplier. But we have two triple A's and blueprint, so each king per trigger is giving eight, which means each trigger is giving uh fourth each king gives four thousand to the molt or something like that. Like a multiplier of the molt. And it's it just goes from there. Million billion, got it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We're in the millions and the billions. Times two, oh yeah. And I'm just looking for fool into a flush five, death cards. Creates a flush five. I think we want this.
Plus five is our our hand. Forces one card to always be selected. So if we just discard a couple of times, we should get all of the clubs. It, it'll just take a second. And you selected it for me. Thank you. Perfect. Now, one one interesting question about this is it's a question I'm going to answer. Uh, it's a straw man question. What would a red seal change about this run? Red seals make things trigger one more time. So right now we're getting each king triggering a total of four times. The base trigger and then three sock and busts. So for a total of four. A red seal would just make that a five instead of a four. Now with five kings and with each one giving times two, that is two times two, four times two, eight times two, 16 times two, 32. It'd be a total of a 32 X difference, which is still enough. That's like one E. But if there were polychrome, it would give us an extra 1.5 on top of that. So each one would be three instead of two. So three, nine, 27, 81. Is that math correct? Three, nine, 27, 81. And then, uh, you know, 200, what, 243? That math is incorrect. No, it is correct. Um, so that would give us like an extra two E's. So red sealing these would give us E29. It's not that much of a difference, but it might make us go one more ante if we could get that. And of course, if we could get steals in hand, that would be nice, but steal in hand is not really what we're playing for, is it? We're, play we're playing, and this is one of the only times we've had this type of a run, we're playing five cards and trying to make those five cards score as highly as possible. Which is why I'm not buying Planet X's, I'm only really caring about Eris, which is a five, five flush. We have maximum Joker slots. It's not like I can buy anything else. So we're just gonna keep pumping on Eris. You know, it's this plus three is getting multiplied by, you know, everything. The chip value is something. It's not amazing, but it's, it's helping. Now E25, can we even make it? We made it to like E23. Let's not worry about this right now. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know, we, we would need, we would need like a whole bunch of steel cards in hand. So we could, we could play a spade flush first because we're not gonna win in one hand. But look, let's just, let's just try, right? Let's play a flush five of spades. There's something else to consider here, which is that maybe we actually want to move blueprint to the sock to get more polychrome triggers. It'll also trigger, you know, triple A more often. I don't know. But that was an E24 hand, which is pretty good. Um, I'm like, hold on. Every every sock trigger gives us a 1.5x. Every king trigger is giving us a two. But because we have three kings, each king is giving us an 8x molt. If we go down to two kings. Okay, uh, there's some math here. <laughs> Each one king with three triple A's is two times two times two, which is eight, and it's triggering four times, which means eight times eight times eight times eight, or 4,096 molt. If we instead take it down to, and then add um, 1.5, four times, so times 1 1.5, 1, 2, 3, 4. 20,736 molt. We're doing the math. We're doing the math. 
on this one. 20,736 molts. Okay, I'm, I'm writing it down. <laughs> if we move the blueprint over to the sock, okay? What we would get is each king would give us a four times molt, and we'd be triggering that five times. One, two, three, four, five, which is only a thousand, but then we would trigger five 1.5s. One, two, three, four, five. That's only 7,776 molt. So I think the I think the Tribulets are better than the Sock. Because the Tribulet is triggering five times. Yeah, yeah. I think this is still the higher score by like a factor of three. Interesting. Let's discard this. You son of a gun. Well, I don't think we're gonna, well, we might make it, because that was with these kings. I don't know, well, let's see. Disposable asks, would this not have been better with red seals instead of gold? Like, I hate the question, because the answer is, well, duh. <laughs> of course it would be better with red seals. Let me, sorry, let me just reach in my ass and pull out a red seal and slap it on the card. Well, that's an illegal maneuver. It says who? <laughs> All right, we have two hands to play. I will play a four of a kind, and then we'll go heavy into the kings. Act, well, mm, yes, because I want the final hand to be as strong as possible. <laughs> Should see a doctor about that. They don't want to look too disgusting. All right, so this is the best hand we can make. Boom, 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 boom. We have three steals. We're playing five of them, but we're playing them for the hand. So, I don't know. These are polychromes, so they should score pretty well. Goes into illegal numbers by that point. I'm confused. Look, I don't understand this game. Okay, fair. <laughs> but it, it's a it's a question with an obvious answer. Would it not be better with better seals? Well, yeah. Of course, it would be better if we were better. I'm not better. I can't get better. Where am I gonna get better from? No, no. We even have the voucher, by the way, of. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Spectral cards may appear in Arcana packs. We've not gotten a deja vu, because we keep getting standard packs and not Arcana packs. But if this is a king with a red seal, it's a glass polychrome, which is, yes, glass cards would have been better up to this point. Where the hell are we gonna get the glass cards? That's all I'm saying, okay? I guess the question is, do you add it? I guess you can. Even if it breaks, you can play it once. I guess if we get a five of a kind, I should upgrade it from the planets. Spade gives a 1.5x molt when scored. Each played card. So this is not as good as Triple A. We, we even had the Idol earlier. Idol is also not as good as Triple A, so we didn't take it. Well, I took it and then sold it once I realized, wait a minute, this doesn't matter. Flush House, no. Strength, no. Five of a kind. I'll upgrade five of a kind because we actually are playing that. I guess I would like death chariot we can make you know another steal hangman we can dump the aces so yeah that's fine all right
I guess we should re-roll so I don't forget. All face cards are drawn face down. Can we re-roll an infinite number of times? Yeah, we can. After player discard, draw three. That's perfect. That's not that this is not a negative. This is a positive. want to dump the last ace. Um, so we might just play the king right now. It might break, but... Oh well, I guess. You know what, no, give me a, give me a discard on this. Damn it. Okay, I'll, I'll play it. could dump this eight, but it's a steel card. We have a, a relatively limited number of those, don't we? I can make the ace steel. Could. Because we're not going to play it. Yeah, okay. So, chariot me the ace. Play this hand. It's a five of a kind, but it's got a king of diamonds at the end that's glass, so... It'll help to buff this hand. This run's been going on for a lot longer than I thought it would, but this is looking to be one of the best runs we've had. I think we're making it to anti-18. I'm surprised we made it on that hand. I did not anticipate that. We take Baron? No, Baron... So... As far as I'm concerned in Bellatro, there's basically two main types of runs. There's a run where you play five cards and you try to make them as good as possible. That's what we have. With re-triggering cards that each give times two molt. And then the other type of a run is you play one card. It's like a high card king or whatever. It's the best card you have. And then everything in hand is red steel seal kings with baron, mime, etc. This is the exact opposite type of a run. So a Baron is, a Baron lowers our score. And in fact, I don't even, I don't even know what we take. Like what, what the hell do we take if a Joker shows up? It's gotta be like a negative invisible Joker. Create a copy of random Joker. Like, okay, yeah, R ruin the whole run. That's what I'll do. That sounds like a good, good, good play. Um, these are all steel, which means duplicating them is super e easy and obvious. I guess we just steal the aces, but realistically stealing the kings is still better. So we could purge the aces, which is not a bad move. And then uh, just chariot the king and then I'll probably fool to get another, another chariot. And then we just roll. We're looking for five of a kind. We're looking for flush five. And other than that, like, I don't know, fingers crossed. But this should be an easy one. In fact, we're going to score higher than you normally would on this. This will score us out. Guaranteed. We have too many uh, steel cards in hand. At a certain point, only infinite cryptid works, says the Nor. That's true, you know? At a certain point, you need uh, Perkeo duplicating your planet cards so that you can get, oh, God. So you can get Multiplier, and then after that, um, you could also do it with duplicating Cryptids, and then Cryptids could dupe your Kings in hand, so you get more Kings. Either one would work. But yeah, at a certain point, that's just what you're playing, isn't it?
And here I'm just playing high card to draw because we want as many cards in hand as possible for the steals. That one almost got us there. It hit E25, but uh, the polychrome will push us over the edge. We'll get a lot of money and we'll actually have three flush fives in hand after this. Because we will win off of this. But yeah, red seals. That's pretty much the only thing we're missing. I could glass these kings, but then they'd start breaking. It's probably worth it, so we should think about holding on to, uh, what is it, justice? Twenty-eight, so... But that twenty-eight is because we had so many steals in hand. But maybe if we get some glass cards, we can go further. Cheaper shops? Sure. Ashen Ran, welcome! My god, that's scoring. It's hot, isn't it? So hot. Ah, ouch, it burns. Five of a kind. Cause we've, we've got that glass diamond in here somewhere. Scaling's too steep. Depends. We could we could do 30. We could do 30. It's hard, but we could. I would feel a lot better about it if we could actually get some glass cards now. Yeah, sure, upgrade five of a kind a little bit more. Like, Certificate would have been really nice in the early game so we could actually get red seals in the deck. Never happened. Hmm. We got one. Okay. We're gonna try. So we, if we're, if we're analyzing the perfect deck, we're gonna play our starting hand here. We want... 10 cards. Five we're playing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we want sp 11. All the clubs, any of these steals, glass one of them, that's the highest hand we can make. I will play this, because, I mean, five steals plus this is a pretty high scoring hand. Now I'm wondering if, if we had five glass cards, it probably would make more sense to move from Tribule to Sock and Buskin, because the times two multiplier just gets moved from one to the other. I think? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not worried about the fact that that was an E24. I'm not worried. Discard. Th this is our hand. There you go. We're gonna glass one. Boom, 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 boom. Polychrome, glass. If this doesn't do it, we lose, but it's been a fun ride either way. I'm not worried that was an E24, I'm worried about the target of being E30. Yeah, having more steel cards in hand on the previous boss was nice, but the glass, two times two times two times two times Two being added, so... Nah, I don't think we're making it. We'll see. 29! We got super close. Super close. There's only one card left to draw. Well... I gotta say, it's a pretty good run, though. <laughs> I think this is the best scoring run that we've had. Which, I... Up till now, didn't realize you could get such a good run with playing five cards, but admittedly, we did just get like a stupidly good combination here of Tribule, Times Two, Blueprint, Double Brainstorm, Sock and Buskin, like we got everything we needed. Um, we even made a mistake with Invisible Joker duplicating the wrong card, but it didn't matter in the end because we would not have been able to take the second Invisible Joker that appeared. Or was that the third Invisible Joker? I can't remember now. Hey, we unlocked Red Stake difficulty on the, on the Erratic deck. 
Oh. What a what a fun run. I like those types of runs in Bellatra. I wish they were a little bit more common, but as far as I as far as I can tell, there's really just two main ways of getting that far in Endless. Play five cards that are as strong as possible. Usually Polychrome, usually Red Seal, usually something like Triboulet or Idol. They're equivalent to one another if you can make your deck only one card. Uh, and then, obviously, High Card. King, Steel, Red Seal. Baron, Mime. I've done that one a few times. I haven't done a, a good five card run until now. Either way, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Bellatro. 